I went in for a, a, just kind of a physical. And that's when 68-year-old Dave Hicks was told. You have cancer. <sighs> you know, <laughs> it didn't really affect me very much. Prostate cancer is fairly treatable if you get it early. Like his urologist, Dr. Jeff Cooper did. Well, prostate cancer really has no symptoms. The American Cancer Society reports prostate cancer ranks second in the number of cancer deaths for men and third overall in new cancer cases. Why? Men aren't getting tested. We like that decision to look for prostate cancer to be a shared decision between the physician and the patient. Urologists do a blood test called a PSA, prostate specific antigen. If the numbers come back high, it's a red flag. My PSA was up um, a few points from where it had been a couple of years before. So Dr. Cooper went to the second test, a biopsy or an ultrasound. The accuracy of that's about 90%. But it's probably 100% of the sure. reason. Bend over Mr. Babar. Why yeah. men? We don't need to. Don't you know, want to see the doc in the, the first morning. place. 100 percent moon river. Dr. Cooper says if the prostate feels abnormal during the biopsy, it could be cancer. Breathe easy. Breathe easy. So the question is, when should you get your first PSA test and who is most at risk? Most recent studies would suggest that the men between ages 55 and 69. But Dr. Cooper says if you have a family history of it or any cancer, you should get checked earlier. I had cousins and uncles and grandfather that had prostate cancer. There are two options for treatment if the cancer hasn't spread to the lymph nodes or bones, radiation or surgery. I was diagnosed in May. Surgery was in September. Dr. Cooper suggested getting that prostate out of there. My choice was get it out of there. Over the last few decades, Dr. Cooper says both types of treatments have progressed tremendously. On the surgical side, it's a robot called the Da Vinci. We can precisely control those instruments and do this surgery with that fashion. Performed by Dr. Cooper through the Da Vinci. That means we're removing the entire prostate. Urologists say it's technology like this that can help shorten a patient's hospital stay and speed up healing. The surgery was Wednesday afternoon. I went home Thursday afternoon. Now, before the da Vinci, men feared permanent nerve damage that could cause erectile dysfunction Sexual. or permanent <laughs> leaking. Uh, yeah, you know. those are all th <laughs> thoughts that go through your head. Many surgeons say this robot can make those simply temporary. Oh, God, if that happens, I'm really not going to be a happy camper, you know, if it's, if it's permanent. I don't think that it's going to be permanent. Hicks says he's never had a medical problem before and believes keeping his yearly physicals ultimately around? saved his life. Get the PSA one. <laughs> 40, 40, 45, whatever they recommend, get a PSA. They have about 30 years so they'd have to get their first PSA test, but the Notre Dame baseball team is already building awareness and trying to find a cure. Kyle Richardson is the team captain for the Movember campaign, all to raise money for prostate cancer and men's health. I think our goal is to just raise as much awareness as possible and hopefully raise some funds along the way. In just 11 days, the team of 35 men have come together and raised more than $20,000. There's a lot of causes that are voiced, and right, rightfully so, but prostate cancer is one of those ones that kind of slips under the radar. Teams across the country have joined in, and as of today, Irish baseball ranks seventh in the nation and ninth in the world. 11 days into that. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Coach Mick Aoki well says done, the yeah. team awareness campaign also raises his own awareness. It's part of the DNA, right? As long as you feel good, you never have to go to the doctor. Men do have to go see their doctors, especially once they get to my age. Richardson says for men's health, there isn't a ribbon to show your support. Instead, it's the mustache on your face. Kind of fun as a college guy. If you have a mustache on your face, you're going to raise some eyebrows. And so <laughs> it's almost your excuse to start a conversation. You know, they go home for Thanksgiving, they have a mustache on their face, and, and dad's like, what are you doing? So I'm like, well, I'm raising awareness for men's health. Dad checks into his prostate, and you know, you could have just saved a family member's life.